This is from an article entitled, The Available Evidence That Tether and Bitfinex Committed Bank Fraud. Recently, Bloomberg reported that several Tether executives have gotten target letters for bank fraud from the Department of Justice. There is ample evidence already to lead us to believe that Tether and Bitfinex have participated in bank fraud. The first piece of evidence is an audio recording that was saved by famous Tether critic Bitfinex, in which we hear Phil Potter, the then Chief Strategy Officer of Bitfinex and Tether, describe what they had to do to maintain banking relationships. The two key quotes are as follows. We've had banking hiccups in the past. We've just always been able to route around it or deal with it. Open up new accounts or what have you. Shift to a new corporate entity. Lots of cat and mouse tricks. The second quote is, Sometimes those accounts get shut down because the correspondent banks realize this is Bitcoin related. The specific claim that Bloomberg is claiming is under investigation is that Tether may have misrepresented to banks their line of business and tried to hide that it was cryptocurrency related. I think the above quotes make it extraordinarily likely that Tether was doing exactly what they are accused of. It's also important to remember that when the New York Attorney General filed their request for an ex parte order, they revealed that for a period Bitfinex depended on, quote, friends of Bitfinex who would use their accounts to service withdrawal. It is very likely, in my opinion, that this was not fully disclosed to their banks. It's also important to remember that Bitfinex and Tether relied on Crypto Capital Core to provide bank fraud as a service. Crypto Capital Core would misrepresent to banks that they were in real estate, while actually providing shadow banking services to Bitfinex, Tether, Kraken, Quadriga, BitMEX, and the Colombian cartels. They would also use fake bond certificates to claim to have more funds than they actually did, and the principal was arrested with counterfeited bills and the ability to counterfeit more bills. It is thanks to this fraudulent behavior that Crypto Capital Core was able to maintain banking relationships when they did. When Tether lost banking in 2017, they likely depended on Crypto Capital Core, and it would be Crypto Capital Core eventually having their bank accounts seized that would lead to Bitfinex robbing hundreds of millions of dollars from Tether's account. Moral of the story? Don't lie to your bank.